So every one of us experiences hardships and heartaches and things that we cry ourselves to sleep at night going, I don't get this. I don't know how this works. I don't, God, I don't see you anywhere in this. But I know, I know from your word that you are good and you are faithful. And somehow, you're going to see me through this and, and turn it around in ways that I will spend the rest of eternity going, how did you do it? How, how did you do that? Praise you. Bless you. You alone are God. Right? So that the more that we, we find these streams running throughout the scripture, okay, it's this child. He's, he's somehow coming from the seed of Mary. And, and so maybe this, maybe, you know. And, and so then Mary comes and onto the scene and the, and the you know, <laughs> you're going to do this? So that, that as we face hardships and as we face joys, right, with, with each of our four kids, you know, there's the, the miracle of childbirth and all, all those things. But, but to stand holding this child and go, God, you came like this? How? How's that even possible? Right? That, that doctrine, biblical doctrine, leads us to devotion, that leads us to wonder and worship and praise. That when we gather together in the, in the sanctuary, right? It's just a room, but it becomes the sanctuary of God when his people are, are there calling upon his name. That we stand in the in the line of God's saints who have for years gathered here and called upon Christ and that Christ has faithfully met with us and shown up and received our worship because of what he alone has done as the only mediator between God and man. That that, that ought to be driving our hallelujahs, that that ought to be what what leads us when we, when we call upon his name together and we pray for our neighbors and coworkers and friends. Amen, Lord, you've done it with me. Do it with these as well.